The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. Well, good Monday morning. We have us an older ICP here from like about 1991. Model number's not visible. The condenser fan motor's running. Pressure's not. What's that want to do? Let's check and see if we've got any refrigerant in the system. Yeah. Oh. Now I made it leak. Okay. We got refrigerant in the system. Let's open up the cabinet. I usually use the Milwaukee drill, but the new house that we are living in, that we renting, I found this Bosch in the uh, storage shed. On this new house and uh, it's really compact so and it works beautiful okay I, there was a case a drill and two batteries and a charger okay well we got a capacitor just laying there we have a separate capacitor for the fan, so that's probably what the issue is. So let uh, let's let me get into it here. Okay, guys, the run capacitor is good. Not the issue. Took the wires off. Compressor's not in thermal overload, and since I'm getting continuity through all the wires, it tells me that we don't have a burnt wire. So we're gonna plug the disconnect back in and see if this compressor is drawing locked rotor. See if it's trying to start and. We'll try a hard start to see if that will uh, break it free. All right, guys, I have my capacitor temporarily hooked back up with the meter on amps and on the common wire of the compressor. I just want to see if this thing's drawing locked rotor on startup. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it drew drew 111 amps. So we're gonna have to try to bump it with a hard start. <coughs> if the hard start won't turn it over, then she's toast. All right guys, I have a hard start just temporarily hooked up to the capacitor. I just wanna see if this thing will start because if it doesn't start, I didn't wanna have to waste time putting mounting brackets and all that. So we got kind of a glare with the sun. Let's see if she'll start now with a hard start. Yep. Took off. Hard start broker free. All right, well now we'll pull the disconnect, and we'll mount the run capacitor back and mount the potential relay and mount the start capacitor. All right guys, I got the unit back up and running. I got the potential relay and the start capacitor mounted in there. I'm not really happy with the way I did the start capacitor, but it is what it is. I got my little snub gauge on right now, checking the suction pressure. Glare with the sun, guys, but uh, it's up and running. We're gonna make them aware that you know we had to put a hard start to make the compressor turn over. When you got when you got to add a hard start to make that compressor kick over like that, that's uh, it's never a good sign. So we'll let him know and see what he wants to do, or at least prepare him to you know get ready to replace this thing very soon. 
All right, guys, that one's over with. Had to put a start kit on it to make it start. Guys, I just want to be real brief real quick. I never did make myself clear. I think I talked about it on Facebook Live, but not here. I'm not working for the big company that I was when I moved down here to Lafayette. <clears throat> my father is had a friend here when we were York dealers. Him and this guy here in Lafayette became good friends. They've been knowing each other for 20-something years. And long story short, they've been knowing each other. The guy's known me since I was a kid. And I wanted to come to work for him when I moved down here, but he didn't have a spot for me because he's a small shop. He's a small shop just like me and Dad were. Well, he didn't have a spot for me. So I went to work for that other company. Well, he called me. Uh, it's been about three weeks now ago and said, hey, I've got a spot for you if you're interested. And I went and talked to him and, you know, he offered me, you know, better stuff and all that. And he guarantees 40 hours no matter what. Even if we only work 20 hours a week, he pays you for 40. And that includes winter time. So anyway, that's a long story short. I'm working for a small outfit now. I'm very happy, much happier that way. The guy treats me good because he knows who I am. Anyway, that one ended with... Uh, the customer is actually asked me to call the, my, the boss man and uh, the boss man is actually on his way over there over here well not at right at this split second but he will head this way either today or first thing in the morning to give them an estimate on changing out the system because I think that's what the people want to do and well for those of you that are going to ask we are an ICP dealer <coughs> this guy and my dad and me and dad this guy and me and my dad did the same thing. We were York dealers when, when York went to shit. He dropped York. He went to ICP. We dropped York. We went to ICP. Granted, we did experiment with other brands, unlike he did. I experimented with Train and some other ones, uh, as you all know. And But, it, but and, well, I actually went to ICP first, then experimented with Train, blah, blah, and went right back to ICP. So it's 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 home it's it's real hometown it's 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 almost like being with dad, uh, great guy, and you know just easy to get along with and and he's the boss man and he works just like we do he runs calls and comes out and does these estimates just like we do, so he doesn't just sit in an office all day. Uh, we I mean we have a little small shop that he rents out but it's nothing special it's just somewhere to store our flex ducting and you know, other stuff like that, and a place for us to go eat lunch if we want to or whatever, but we meet at the supply house every morning. That's where we meet, at the supply house. Great outfit, much happier, uh, not this big, large company, you know, so uh, very happy. So this, this system will more than likely end up getting replaced probably later this week. All right, guys, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.